Hello. We're going to start standing at the top of our mats, hands at heart center, taking a few breaths. We're going to start off with two full rounds of sun salutation A. So on an inhale, arms can reach up. Exhale as you hinge forward, releasing the crown of your head. Inhale, flat back, hands to the shins or your mat. Exhale, stepping back with the right, then the left, lowering down, chaturanga, all the way down. Inhale into your cobra and exhale, down dog. We'll take a few breaths here to really settle into our down dog to begin to warm up the hamstrings so you can pedal out the feet, eventually letting both heels sink down towards your mat. You can keep a bend in the knees. On an inhale, right knee steps forward, followed by the left, into your flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. Get a nice stretch. Exhale, very good. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, flat back, looking up towards the horizon. Exhale, stepping back with the left, then the right into a plank and lowering all the way down through Chaturanga. Inhale into your cobra, peel the chest off the mat. Exhale, hips reach up and back into your down dog. Pressing into that thumb and first knuckle of the hands, inner biceps rolling up, pedaling out the feet, feeling a nice stretch. This time bending the left knee in towards the chest, stepping it through, followed by the right. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, surrender. Inhale all the way up, exhale, palms to heart center. Moving on to round two, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, flat back, exhale, stepping back with the right, then the left, lowering down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra, your choice. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Taking your few breaths here. To feel comfortable in your down dog to get some nice sensations in the backs of the legs. Really breathing into the backs of the legs. Right knee comes in, step forward, followed by the left. Inhale into your flat back, exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, arms reach up, and exhale, hands to heart center. Last half. Inhale, arms reach up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back, feel your spine lengthen. Exhale, step back with the left, then the right. Lowering down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale into your down dog. Taking a few breaths here. Seeing if you can really get comfortable into your down dog. You can send the weight back into the legs, into the heels. Reaching those hips up and back. Left knee hugs in towards the chest, nice and tight. Step it forward, followed by the right. Inhale, lengthen the spine, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. And exhale, hands to your heart center. On an inhale, we'll reach the arms up again. And exhale as you fold forward. Inhale, take a flat back. And exhale, surrender forward. You can widen the feet, hip width apart here. We're going to grab onto the big toes with the peace fingers. Inhale into a flat back, so arms straighten. And exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, flat back again. Exhale. And one last time. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, hinge forward. You can keep a bend in the knees. Bending the arms, letting the elbows point out, reaching the crown of your head down towards your mat. Holding the stretch here. Inhale, flat back. And release the hands, placing the hands down onto your mat. And we're going to slowly walk the feet back into a down dog, pressing the heels into your mat as you slowly walk them back. Getting a nice stretch in the backs of the legs. On an inhale, reach that right leg up and back into a three legged dog. Take a full breath here. And then on an exhale, bend the knee, bring it forward, step through, dropping that left knee back into a low lunge. 
squaring the hips, taking an inhale and exhale as you send the hips back. Inhale forward, exhale, runner stretch. Toes flex, inhale, lunge forward, and exhale back and we'll hold here in our runner stretch. That right heel isometrically pulling back towards the back of your mat. Right toes are flexed, pulling towards the shin. Keeping a micro bend in that right knee. And then we're going to sink our hips all the way back onto our mat, bringing the sole of our left foot to the inner right thigh. Square yourself over that extended leg. Elevate the hips if you need to. Inhale, arms reach up and exhale. We're going to fold forward over that extended leg. You can use a strap here if you'd like to hold on to the foot. Inhale up slightly. Exhale, fold forward. Inhaling up and exhale, deepen. And we'll hold here. Right leg stays super active, pressing down into your mat. Right foot is flexed. Crown of your head reaching towards the top of that foot. Inhale, we'll roll ourselves up. Cross the legs and roll onto the hands and knees, coming into a tabletop. And then we'll press right up and back into our down dog. Holding here for breath. And then on your next inhale, left leg reaches up, three-legged dog. Take a full breath. Exhale, bend the knee, bring it forward, stepping down, dropping that right knee into your low lunge, squaring the hips, taking an inhale. And exhale, reach back, runner stretch. Inhale, lunge forward. Exhale, leading with the hips back. Good. Inhale forward. And last time, sinking the hips back into your runner stretch. We'll hold here. Toes are flexing. Left heel is pulling back towards the back of your mat. And then we'll slowly sink our hips all the way down. Keeping that left leg straight, this time bringing the sole of the right foot to the inner left thigh. Feeling nice and grounded and anchored down with our sit bones. Elevating the hips if you need to. On an inhale, reach the arms up. Create length and exhale as you hinge forward. Grabbing onto the foot or the ankle or using a strap. Inhale up slightly, exhale, surrender. Inhale, exhale, surrender. And one last time, inhale up slightly and exhale, hold. Left leg pressing down into your mat. Crown of your head, lengthening towards the top of your foot, seeing if you can feel length being created in your spine. Inhale as you slowly roll yourself up. Cross your legs in the opposite direction. Roll yourself forward into a tabletop. And then press yourself up and back into a down dog. Good job. Take a moment here. Take a couple breaths in your down dog. See if you notice any differences in the backs of the legs. On an inhale, right leg reaches up and back. Three-legged dog, full breath. Exhale, bend the knee, hug it in towards the chest, step it through, left knee drops. We'll go through our flow again. So exhale as the hips reach back, inhale as you lunge forward. Good, exhale back, inhale forward. And one last time, we'll exhale back and hold. Creating that beautiful stretch in the back of that hamstring. And on your next exhale, sinking the hips all the way down onto your mat. This time we're going to create an internal rotation in that left leg. So staying on the top of that left foot, an inner ankle is right beside the outer left hip. If it's more comfortable to create the external rotation like we did before, bringing the sole of the foot to the inner thigh, you can come into that variation as well. Again, we'll fold forward that extended leg. Move through a couple breaths of inhaling as you slightly release, exhale as you hinge forward. Eventually on an exhale, just settling down and holding, 
Right leg is engaged just as it was before. Toes are flexing. Crown of your head is reaching towards the top of your foot. On an inhale, we'll slowly roll ourselves up. We're going to bend that right knee to bring the sole of the foot onto our mat. Bring both arms to the inside of that right knee. We're going to grab onto the sole of the right foot. And when you're ready, inhale as you extend, straightening the leg. Find length in the spine. Right leg can be bent. Just straighten it until you feel that stretch in the hamstring in the back of the leg. Exhale, you can release. We'll come into a cross-legged position and roll ourselves into a tabletop. Pressing up and back into our last down dog. Really savoring this last down dog. Inhale, left leg up, three-legged dog. Full breath here. Bend the knee, bring it in towards the chest. Step it through, drop that right knee down. Going through our lunge flow, exhale as you reach back. Inhale, lunge forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward and exhale back and we'll hold. Flexing the left toes, pulling that left heel towards the back of your mat. And on an exhale, letting the hips sink all the way back. Your choice whether you create an internal or external rotation in that right leg. Keeping left leg extended forward. Inhale, arms can reach up. And on an exhale, hinge yourself forward over top of that extended leg. Inhale up slightly. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, exhale, fold and hold. Pressing left leg into your mat. Creating length in your spine. Inhale as you roll up. Bending that left knee. Coming onto the sole of the left foot, both arms to the inside of the knee. We'll grab onto the edges of the foot. And on an inhale, when you're ready, you can press that left heel up. Leg can stay bent. Only straighten until you feel that stretch beginning to develop. So you feel the tension in the back of the leg. There's no need to force here. Try and keep the spine nice and long. job. On your next exhale, you can slowly begin to bend the leg, bring the sole of the foot down. We're going to cross the legs again, opposite way as before. Roll on to the hands and knees, and we're going to press up into our last down dog I lied before. This is our last down dog. Take a moment to notice if you feel any difference in the backs of the legs, do you feel a little bit more length? Do you feel the work that you've done? Do you feel the effects in your body? Exhale, begin to bend the knees, slowly coming back down into your tabletop. Sit back and come into a comfortable seated position on your mat, letting your hands rest on your knees, shoulder blades sliding down your back. Let your eyes softly close. Take a moment to feel the effects of your practice on your body. To set the intention to stay committed to your practice. When you're ready, your hands can come to your heart center. And thank you so much for letting me guide you today. Namaste.